Hello again and welcome to our YouTube channel. If it's your first time to watch a video in this channel, please subscribe to stay updated. This video is part of a video series that will cover building a classifier using PyTorch from the very beginning till testing. If you would like to check how we got started with Google Colab, you can check uh, the last video from the link in the description. So stay tuned and let's get started. As every programming task, we need to import all the libraries needed to get the job done. Oh, one thing to know is that uh, although Google Colab is generally used for deep learning, you still need to import all the libraries you need by yourself. To do that, we will go um, to our testing Colab folder. And now we will make another collaboratory file uh, by uh, right click, then go to more. Then collaboratory. Let's name it a PyTorch classifier. Now we will start importing the important libraries. If you are working locally, usually you will need to, um, to use import torch. You will need to use Anaconda or other things to just uh, install the library to your uh, local hard drive and then use import torch. So if we uh, now uh, run this cell, uh, we will get an error. Like, um, as you can see, no module named torch. To solve this problem, we first need to install the uh, version we need and then we say import tosh. We do the installation like we do in any uh, Linux environment. So we start with an excl exclamation mark and then pip install. The tosh version that we want is uh, currently I will be using 040. Uh, so you have to uh, choose the version you want here. Some people prefer uh, the unstable version, uh, um, the uh, 1.0 version, but for now I will be using this one. Now we run the cell and we see what will happen. It's telling me um, that I already have the uh, requirement satisfied because I already have it. Um, so you will be getting something like a few bars that are counting up uh, because it's downloading. However, um, don't worry, just, just keep it running until it finishes and you will be fine. To just check what uh, version of PyTorch we have, uh, we have to do something like um, Print the current version of PyTorch by using the uh, built-in function torch.version with underscores. And we run this cell. And uh, we see now that we have the uh, current PyTorch version is 040 as we wanted. Now another uh, important library is the PIL uh, library that is used to work around images. Of course, usually we import it by using import PIL. Let's try it and run. Um, it says that it is installed. However, to check that we have uh, downloaded the right one, we add a new cell and we say that uh, I want to see which ver pillow version I have. So we also use the built-in function pil.pillowVersion and we run the cell. And we see that it's uh, 541, which is not the... Uh, pillow version that we need because if you use this one you later will run into errors that you never know from where it comes so it's the best thing to do is to replace this uh, pillow version with the uh, one that you need some so the best thing to do is to uninstall the current version and install the other uh, version that works which is um, 5.3.0 so we um, do the uninstallation by using uh, exclamation mark pip, like in the Linux systems. Um, uninstall minus y pillow. This will uninstall uh, the uh, current version 
and install and this uh, line will install the pillow version of 530 and we run the cell So I'm getting here a warning because I already have it installed. Um, however, to make sure that we have installed it and um, we shouldn't restart the runtime, we print the current version of uh, Pillow again to see what we have. And we see that it's still the same one. So there is something wrong. What to do about that? We um, go to this cell where we have uninstalled uh, the pillow version and installed the other new one and we go to runtime and say uh, restart runtime yes and we run again initializing so we will have to wait till it's connected and this is done So now it's done, we print again the version that we have and see. So we are getting an error because uh, we did not import PIL here, we need to import it again. And we run. So now you can see that we have got the right version. This is the version that you need and um, I encourage you to do this because otherwise if you use PIL later in your code you will get into errors and troubles uh, because you are using the other version. Um, just do it and you will be fine. This was the most important two things to do is to import the uh, right version from, from Torch and to install the right version from PIL. So now I will show you what other libraries that uh, you will be needing uh, to uh, run this uh, classifier that we will be working on. And that those are the time library to just time your training, how much it took and see uh, how to get it better or run faster. And uh, import JSON uh, because in this specific classifier we will be using JSON files. And we will be using deep copy somewhere so I will need to import copy uh, we will need from PIL to import image and we will definitely need numpy I will also be using uh, torch and n functional as f and also will be using variable from autograd um, no need to import torch again because we already imported and uh, we will import nn and optim because eventually you will be using sgd or adam or any other optimizer we will import uh, from the optim the learning scheduler which i will be teaching you how to use it here however if you would like to know more about uh, the learning rate schedulers you could check my other video uh, in details about this topic and uh, you could find this link in the description too. And from Torch version we will be importing transforms to do the transforms on our data and we will be using uh, pre-trained models so we will need the models and data sets to upload our data and we run the cell. If you are not sure if this has been run, you, can, you could just uh, print uh, something like done importing. However, you will tell of course from uh, this uh, bottom here because it's no more circulating. But just let, let's do it. So we are done importing. To sum up, uh, we have imported Torch, we have imported PIL. We made sure that we are importing the right version of these two. And then we have imported the other uh, libraries that we need. So that was it everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed and you have learned something. I will be sharing this part of the code uh, directly in the description. So you could uh, just paste it in your code and you will be fine. 
no need to go through all of these but um, I wanted to show you how to do it right especially here when you have to uh, replace the right version from pillow sometimes it gets stuck and you get uh, the older version again so you have to start restart the runtime to get the right one uh, keep doing it until you uh, have the version 5.3.0 I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.